Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. I have a Goodwill haul for you. Oh yes, I do. Because it was customer service day. Customer appreciation day, whatever. And I tend to like to go to as many Goodwills as I can, but today for numerous reasons, I was able to go only to one. So, let's hit it. This item, whew. I super duper love this. This is a candle thing, you know. Um, it's from the Bonton Department Stores, which is um Boston store here in well sorry about that. Let's get a little light on the subject here. Okay. That's about it. Um that is locally what is known as Boston store. Or some of you in the, like, Minnesota area, because Bonton, I think, is based out of... A lot of stores, people will know it as uh, Carson Peary Scott, I think, is the overall of Boston Store. I don't know if any of those stores closed or if it was only Boston Store locally here in Milwaukee area. But anyway, that's a nicer department store. Like, you know, it was replaced by um, Nordstrom's, I think, so... There you go. But um, it originally was $40. Kind of want to keep it, but I'm probably going to sell it to you. So there you go. Got some. Oh, yeah, this is. I thought this would be cool for people that are um, from Massachusetts or the Boston area more specifically. Um, there are a bunch of postcards. Or no, just note cards. I'm sorry. There are a bunch of note cards that are um, specific to that area. So, I was like, yeah, somebody's going to... Somebody's going to like this little set of assorted notes and envelopes. Mm -hmm. Then I got these for me, for my inserts. Oh, these are going to be really good. Really good. Well, here's the thing that it came out of. <laughs> and then I got these. Um... They're either going to be part of my ephemera packs or toppers. I'm not sure yet. Um, I got this because I like it a lot. And I am, um, this is another thing I'm either going to sell or keep. I'm not sure, but I like that look. Yeah. That's, I mean, I think it's leather. But I like the embossed leather. I like that it's got like the uh, embossed flowers, but it's not very feminine. It's like a nice balance of feminine and masculine, which is something that I need to be concerned about nowadays. <laughs> so then I got some ephemera, mm -hmm. and these are some old music sheets, and they're really good because they're really old. Erd, erd, erd. They are... Um, they're in French, I believe. Edition Nationale Francais. Um, Sauvage des Sauvages. Nouvelle Edition du Sauvage pour Voix des Sopranos. De Henri, Henri, Le Moine et J. Carrie. <laughs> I must sound like I'm ill. Anyway, it's in French. It's in French, y'all. <laughs> and this is from heck if I know. It was 75 cents back in the day. Yeah, I don't know. 
some there's some writing in it but it doesn't matter anyhow i like that it's old and that'll be great for some junk journaling and ephemerate packets oh as well this but i had to buy this just for the title alone because it's 240 double and triple tonguing exercises I had to have that. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness. <sighs> it's dedicated to the to the guy's son. <laughs> and I have no freaking clue when this was from because it's in Roman numerals. <laughs> Suggestions on how to practice. Preliminary exercises for double double tonguing. <laughs> and then double tonguing. Repeat on every note in all scales. It's important to stay in comfortable range. Tu tu ku tu tu ku tu tu ku tu tu ku tu tu And then I guess you change your, your scales, right? Too good, too, 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 good, too. I have no idea. I don't know. How, I don't know. I used to play the organ, but that's all, you know, F A C E and E. -A, every good boy does fine, e, you know. Um, yeah, I, I know how to read. I, I mean, I used to know how to read music, and I guess I still could. Um, sort of. I don't know how to read those double things. Well, I guess I do. I mean, I guess I do. Know how to read music. <laughs> but clearly, um, I've never taken exercises on double tonguing. <laughs> yeah. uh -uh -uh -uh. Oh, I, where's the triple tonguing part? It says triple tonguing too. Don't tease me and tell me that. I, oh, there it is. Triple tonguing. Repeat on it in all scales. Two, 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 coo, two, 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 coo, two, 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 coo, two, 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 coo, two, 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 coo, two, 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 coo, two, 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 coo, two. This is going to bring me hours of enjoyment. <laughs> or somebody. <sighs> oh, cards for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be in the, for um, junk journaling ephemera packs. I got two great sets of uh, napkins for this. It's uh, the one says... Um, well, you know, of course, because this is what Goodwill does, right? They put the sticker right over. I mean, it's like they do it on purpose. I think they're like, let's be jerks and let's put it over either the words that these people need to read or let's put it over the, um, you know, information or the sticker of the item because that's what they seem to like to do. So this one says, the key to staying young is accessorizing. Or is that exercising? <laughs> and then this one says, good friends are like your favorite pair of shoes. They always make you feel fabulous. That's right. So, okay, look away, Misty. Then I got these. <laughs> All right, you can look again, Misty. I don't think she's watching this, but you never know. And this is something that I was looking at the other day. And then today I got it because I knew I was going to have a percentage off. So it's, um, oh, this is so good. This is Miss Moppet from Beatrix Potter. The button. Okay. There are a couple of other odd buttons in here. Nothing special. Then there's like these, whatever needles 
These are good. Very good. Possibly for like a, a mystery box. Maybe I'll start doing some of those. And this is for, I don't know what, just whatever. I thought these were cool because um, it's got that little plaid stuff on there. That's, you know. And then these are cool because they're the um, toggle buttons that are cool. Um, these are just, they were in the pack, that's all. These are good. And then these are there. Wow, people would have actually bought buttons at Walgreens. Okay. I mean, I guess you had less places to buy stuff back then. Or whenever it was. So, I bought that because... Oh, there goes that button. <laughs> okay, then I got this. This fabric is so good. <gasps> Look at that! <laughs> I... I'm not crazy about bu butterflies, but I love anything that has a postal mark, like a postcard, a postmark, a ledger, all these things. Ah, oh, this is so good. So good. I mean, I don't sew or anything, but I'm just saying it's so good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got myself a shirt. Yeah. Ooh, whatever. It's got bell sleeves. You know I like that. Yep, that's that. Big whoop. This is so good. Oh, look at that. That's going to be so cool on somebody's boho baby. Mm. Mm hmm. Those colors. Yes. This is going to be for your um, ephemera packs. <laughs> I'll be using these in those ephemera packs. Um, I got these. Some are for me and some are for somebody else. I got this because your girl loves her Summerfest. If you don't know what Summerfest is, Google it. It's a Milwaukee thing, but it's a national music festival. It is amazing. And I don't get to do it like I used to. And it didn't happen this past year. But my heart will always live for Summerfest. And it says, sun on my face, drink in my hand, music in my ears. Summerfest is so grand. And then it has the Summerfest logo. Now, and I also love it because it's on this, like, wood. It's by this company called Second Nature by Hand. And... It was $6.99 plus I got 25% off. And that is, that'll do it for me. Like, normally I might not get that sort of thing, but it spoke to me. It spoke to me. Now the rest of the items are the breakables. Or the, you know, need to be wrapped. I always, when I'm putting things, taking things out of the cart, I separate them so that they don't have any confusion. I'm like, I put it all, and then I go, okay, the rest of these will need to be wrapped. There's no smell to this. But this is a Christmas one, like those cool ones. This is like boho Christmas. Oof, where am I going to put all these things? This is just a candle for me because, you know, if I find things for me, yeah. It's from um, Bath and Body. I didn't even get any candles this year or last year, to be honest. So whatever I get on, oh, well, no, I shouldn't say that because the man took me at the semi-annual sale after Christmas. And we went, oh, spiced apple toddy. And I got this. This is a single wick only. It's the jar that I got for three bucks, two ninety nine. That and minus twenty five percent. It's a fourteen fifty candle. 
So, um, so hot toddy is the fragrance notes are cinnamon, clove, and apple brandy. Thank you very much. I'll take one right now. Mm hmm. Yeah. And that is why I like it. I love me some cinnamon. I love me some clove. And I imagine I would like a little apple brandy. I am in, you know, milk glass mode. This time of year is when I'm totally milk glass mode. Um, I, this is, I don't know what it's exactly from. There's a, there's one of those um, packets on there. Zorbit, it's called. Sorbit. And um, it's still in there, so whatever. I'll leave it in there for now. It, it's cool because it also has a lid. And it has this, I don't know what it says. Derificitis. Mysteriosa. Mysterical. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So it's just this plain milk glass jar with this emblem, which I have no clue about. So it's a good jar, though. Dig it. Dig it. Dig it. This is, um, you know, probably a little cloudy. Maybe not. No, it's not really that bad, actually. It probably needs a little clean. But, um, I love, this is, this is a good, this is going to be good in about a month. Or a month and a half. You guys will be chomping, people like me, chomping at the bit for spring. Oof. So green floral, you know, look at all that. Green flower, flower, flower. Everybody loves their flowers, their greens, and their florals. So this, and then it's lidded, and it's like got that, so it's a uh, seal tight. This is, this is good. And, um... I am not familiar with what this is exactly, but my vibe from this is anchor hawking. Just because they do that kind of modeled kind of glass usually. So I don't, like I said, I don't know for sure. But that's my thinking on it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm keeping this or selling this. It's. It's creative co-op, but it's older creative co-op. You can tell by the sticker on it. But um, I like that it has this little hook. So, a little gray mirror. I think it's cute. No, it won't work out there. Dang it. But anyhow, I like this. Yeah, I do. I've been looking at ashtrays so much in the last couple of few months because, you know, they're good for, like, so many different things. And, um, obviously not just ashtray. And, I mean, let's face it, people, it's so funny to me, as a non-smoker, you know, you used to, used to be, as a non-smoker, you would say something, you know, about smoking that you didn't like care for smoking and people would be like, yeah, whatever, you know, now I find it very funny. That even smokers don't smoke in their own homes. Now I'm not talking about every smoker, but a lot of them, like the guy across the street. <laughs> P.S. <laughs> so anyhow. This is an ashtray that is gorgeous, okay? It is gorgeous, and it's footed. This is cool. Look at that. Great design. It needs to be cleaned, obviously. But, whew, I love that. Clear glass, like Alex always says, is underrated. I've never had a problem with clear glass, and uh, I guess this proves it, because... I am here for it. 
I mean, look, you could even use it as a candle holder. I just had a candle in it. <laughs> And then the last thing is, oh yeah, well, I'm going to take the sticker off so you can see it. See, I have started not to, I'm not recording everything anymore. So, um, oh yeah, this is on the bottom of that candle. So, see, I used to um, be a freak about that, like everything, I had to keep the stickers on here. But um, now I'm taking them off because I'm not recording things like I used to. So that actually will um, save me time. I've learned that it doesn't matter how much you spend going in. It's how much day you end up getting on the way out. <laughs> so see, now I can just tear these stickers off. I should have been doing it as we went along. But, you know, that's okay because, you know, time is... Um, Oftentimes, time is truly of the essence. So, anyhow, I have to cut this tag off because, look, I would not... The only reason I look twice at this is, like, because of people like... Like my girl, Laura Melendez, and a few other people that are um, seriously... Um, into the strawberries. So. This is not something that I would typically look at. And I'm glad I did, though. Because looky, looky. This is a McCoy. Yeah. I would not have known. I mean... And let's face it, how many McCoys aren't even marked sometimes? It drives me nuts. This could be one of those um, knockoff McCoys, you know, that they did. But I don't know. There's all these numbers and then that extra mark. So I'll have to do, you know, my, my due diligence and find out. But, um, is that, no. Is that a chip or is that a manufacturing thing? I can't tell. Might be a chip. It actually, I mean, it might be a chip, but it, it's like right where the pour is, so it doesn't. Oh, here's a little tiny. A little tiny chip. But, you know, again, these are things that you won't even notice. Now, the starbers are only on one side. And probably the, the tape that they put on peeled off a little teeny weeny bit of that strawberry. But that's a nice looking there, um, picture there. It's not a teapot, is it? It is short and stout. <laughs> oh, and then there's a... Well, see, that's weird. That's a weird looking crack. Look at that crack in there. That's an odd looking crack to be so isolated and then like there's no there's no indication of it on the outside so um yeah i believe this is a little little teapot i don't know but what i do know is that's the end of my haul <laughs> so um i hope you guys saw something that you like in that haul and i'd appreciate it if you give me a, a thumbs up Leave a comment down below, share my video with people you think might enjoy it, and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Also, like how many also's can there be? Well, you know how extra I am because there's always going to be more. Um, don't forget to uh, hit that notification bell because, well, today is going to be Saturday when you see this and I might just go live trying to sell some things at the at Kelly's house so you never know and um yeah that'll be it for now thanks everybody have a great day bye